All right, hello everyone. It is this is Rich, and this is my VA or DVD, just DVD update for um, September twenty eighth, two thousand nine. Uh, I got six movies to do here, so let's get going. Um, a couple of these I talked about in my in other reviews I've done real quick about them. First off, I'm going to go with the number one movie in my entire collection for this. Um, number one with a fucking bullet. Trick or treat, son. Trick or motherfucking treat. Talked about this in another review that's going to be either up or... It's up soon or it's already up. I don't know how I'm doing these loadings. Um, it's an anthology movie about a couple different stories that happen in one town on Halloween. Um awesome um it hasn't come out yet i think it comes out next week sometime like october 7th or 6th or something um totally see it 10 out of 10 10 out of motherfucking 10 you like creep show or tales from dark side or anthology weird horror shit like that see this movie i can't i can't praise it enough fucking see this movie um Another one that I said good things about, which you can go and see on my other review available four minute jobber. Um, I um, one of my friends gave me a copy of this, but I am going to be getting it on Blu-ray. Um, the Haunted World of El Super Bisto um, has the same sort of uh, comic cartoon style as um, Ren and Stimpy. Um, one a, a way way better movie than uh, Halloween 2. You know how much I loved Halloween 2. Um, with Rob Zombie and his original shit, he does fucking great. Like this, it has so many nods to other horror movies. Um, it has a story all its own. There's blood and violence and Paul Giamatti as Dr. Satan. Uh, tons of stars. If you're a horror movie person, you'll know like Bill Mosley and Sid Haig and Danny Trejo. Um, tons. It's tons. Tons. Check it out. I think the Blu-ray's $12, $13 on uh, Amazon. So it's not like, you know, you're losing anything if it's not good. Alright, so next is... A um, movie that I uh, did a quick review of, um, as I said, it'll be up sometime. Um, it's a documentary that I got the other day at Blockbuster for a buck. Because they're one of the ones that are closing down by my girlfriend. Uh, it's a documentary called Going to Pieces, The uh, Rise and Fall of the Slasher Film. Um, it talks about the uh, origin of the slasher film, starting with, like... Um, Halloween and Psycho and Peeping Tom and goes all the way through the 80s to like kind of the death of uh, these movies like with Scream and what have you. Um, really, really interesting. Has uh, tons of um, directors in there like the ones for uh, April Fool's Day and The Prowler, um, uh, Friday 13th. Uh, you got Wes Craven in there. Uh, tons. Um, one of the best documentaries I've seen in a good while. I mean, granted, it's from 2006, but it's really interesting. I got it for a buck um, at Blockbuster. So if you know when any of the Blockbusters are closing, check it out because it's really, really good. It's about 90 minutes. Um, I didn't even realize it was that long. So check it out. Um, next is a, um, a whole series of films that I got for, uh, six dollars. Um, it's all the Vice Academy movies with Linnea Quigley and Ginger Lynn Allen. I guess, I think she's a porn star. Um, I watched the first one really fast. I watched maybe 40 minutes of it. It was fucking terrible. This is from the all the um all the uh, Vice Academy movies are made by your favorite director of mine, Rick Sloan. 
and Rick Sloan has done such great films as Hobgoblins. You've seen Hobgoblins? I'm sorry. Hobgoblins 2 is the same fucking movie, just redone. But I do, I do enjoy Hobgoblins, but I enjoy it because it's bad. Um, some people I've talked to say that like Part Three is a lot better than this in this series. Um, the person that replaces Lene Quigley in these films is, I guess, pretty good. Uh, I haven't watched those yet, but I watched the first one and part of the second one, and I really wasn't impressed. Uh, I remember watching the uh, first one on uh, USA up all night way back when. Um, so yeah. If you want to check out Vice Academy or you like the Vice Academy movies, I mean, I got it for a great price. I got all six Vice Academy movies plus two extra ones that has, one of them has, it's called Good Girl Don't, that has, um, Renee Estevez and Christopher Knight from the Brady Bunch. I don't know. Here's another documentary I got when I went to Blockbuster. Um, American Movie. Which is about um, a no-budget uh, filmmaker, which I forget his fucking name. And they don't have it on the back. Anyway, uh, it's about a uh, no-budget film director um, essentially taking, out of a two-year span, making his film um, called The, the Coven. Um, I remember watching this documentary on IFC and I really, really loved it. It was worth a buck. Um, I gotta watch it again. I know I liked it when I watched it, so I'm gonna check it out again. Um, uh, if you're a fan of horror movies or a fan of like documentaries on like how shit's made in like films and stuff, especially the low budget and no budget like this, um, it's a really interesting, uh, you know, film to watch. And uh, lastly, um, I got this movie for two dollars at um, a Best Buy. Nine Seven Six Evil, the most my favorite movie with Stephen Jeffries in it. Um, Stephen Jeffries plays a nerdy kid in this movie, and he's also, I think, the nerdy kid in um, Fright Night. You know, you're so cool, Brewster. Um, little known fact about Stephen Jeffries: hardcore gay porn star. In the 90s, I think, and some of the 2000s. Um, I know he's done some horror movies. I don't know if he's in the remake of Fright Night coming out. Um, but yeah, 976 Evil, back to that. Awesome movie, essentially a kid starts calling this 976 Evil, and he essentially starts turning into a demon, or like some ghoulish type person that has powers, and he gets revenge on the bullies that picked on him because he's like a nerdy type guy. And he tries to, like, get the girl, the slutty girl that he can't have. And he kills her and stuff. Um, it's really interesting. It has a carry type quality to it. A little bit. Um, but definitely an awesome, awesome 80s film. I also have 976 Evil on a VHS uh, transfer that I got. Um, and I also have a VHS transfer of 976 Evil Part 2, which is nowhere near as good as this one. But is entertaining. Um, yeah, so if you see a Best Buy around, or not Best Buy, Big Lots is where I got this for $2. Big Lots, $2. Awesome. Um, so that's it for part one. Hopefully I didn't go over my ten minutes. So, yeah, I'll see you in a minute with part two.